For Tina Lund, travel has been an integral part in both her career and family life. The Danish show jumper's story began in Texas in the early 1980s, when her father, the Danish international footballer Fleming Lund, took a gamble and signed with Dallas Tornado of the North American Soccer League. I don't remember much about Texas, but I remember that the, the first thing I always wanted for a birthday present was the small ponies. So from the beginning, since I was small, very small, the only thing I wanted to play with was my little pony. So I think I always had like a, a love for the horses, uh, even from the beginning. We actually moved around, I think it was like nine places in America. Uh, but, you know, I really wanted to have a pony. And my dad always said, no, you can't have a pony because we're always traveling. So it was not possible, but he promised me the day we move back to Denmark, I can get a pony. And the first day we landed with the airport, the first thing I was like, where's the pony? <laughs> It was not about the sport when I started. It was just getting a pony and starting to ride. But then because I had my dad, which was a, a, a soccer player at that time, he understood the sport that there was like an angle to this. We can do something together. For him, he said, it's very important, you know, traveling the world together. We could do that with the horses. So he's actually the one who I think started pushing me a little bit to compete. And then I just loved it. And we did it as a family. He, he knew how to teach me how to think, you know, in the situation where you get nervous. He, he always said, you know, when, if it was raining, people would say, oh no, it's raining, we can't ride. He always told me, when it's raining, you're the best. It's good when it's raining, because then you're better than the other. He always made me think, you know, positive. So I think he was a, he, I know he's a big part of, of who I became in, in the sport. The positive attitude installed in a young Tina Lund resulted in her becoming the youngest Danish champion at just 11 years of age. To date, a world record. She's gone on to amass a total of 19 national titles. And when she was 21, she became the first rider in history to win the Nordic, Danish Championship and European Young Rider Championship in the same year. In 2009, Tina met Danish international and former Premier League star Alan Nielsen. Having dealt with pressures of performance and fame during his spells at Tottenham, Wolves and Watford, Alan now provides support towards a new winning team. He played at some big clubs, which is really nice because we understand each other like with sport that you can't say no, you know, if you have to go train, it's every day, it's not uh, five times a week. And he understands that, you know, if you do something with sport, you do it 100%. He's also a coach, a mental coach, and which helped me a lot. I mean, I haven't met a person in my life that is so positive. So even if I feel sad with some competitions or my result, he's always getting a good way to, to make me feel happy and get positive again. So he's really been uh, great for my life. In 2013, Tina relocated to the United Arab Emirates to help find a better balance between her riding career and family life. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The reason why we moved to Dubai was because I, I got my son Louis and I wanted to spend time with my, my son and not be away to competition all the time and be able to do the sport. And in Dubai, all the shows are in one hour's area. So you can go to the show the same day and go back. So it's like, you can be both. You can be a mother and you can do the sport. That is the, the reason why we moved to Dubai. It makes uh, my life simple. Um, I can spend time with my kids. I can bring them to the show, which is not easy in Denmark. So I spend more time with my kids in Dubai than I will do in, in Europe. So um, for family life, I don't think there is a place in the world which is better than here. I feel like I have a good system. I mean, I, I take my kids to school in the morning and then I can go and train and I have eight horses now and I can manage to do all of that in, until in before two o'clock. And then I have the rest of the day and the evening with my kids. And then sometimes when I put them to bed, I can go train again because I, I have my husband to take care of them when they sleep and I can go uh, to give lessons or ride or whatever I need to do. So uh, yeah, I, I get most out of my time. The UAE is a growing hotspot in the world of equine sport and in recent years has seen a dramatic increase in popularity and participation. This country is only 49 years old, so everything is still new, I mean, in every way and also with the sport. So I think they're catching up uh, quite fast and they're doing a really, really good job. Every year something gets better and more people are coming 
more sponsors are coming, like even now the Sheikha has a whole team. Uh, she has now been there for three years. So this is uh, amazing that everything is growing. A lot of people think that, oh, it's not so difficult here, but it really is. There's really good horses and good riders, so it's not just easy to win here. You, you need to have a good horse, a fast horse, and you need to be on your top level to win. Louis made his own uh, Uno car. My mom and dad moved with me to Dubai. I mean, they live uh, 20 minutes from here. I think that is important that is, uh, you know, when you have your ups and downs, that you have a good support system around you. Uh, somebody who can support you, somebody who can push you, somebody who can comfort you, it's, it's, it's important. Because the sport is not like only 10 years, uh, this sport is a long time. And if you want to last for a long time, you need a good team around you, it's very important. Yeah. My goal is to keep riding until I'm 60, for sure. And then after that, maybe I'll become a trainer. So it's, I think from, from the beginning of my life until the end, I, I hope, hope I will be in the sport, somehow. <laughs>